another redraw. Um, I'm just drawing one half of a LMD loop, um, a full loop would be, <clears throat> you know, something like this, a transformer on either side, capacitors in the middle, and the electric keeper in between, and the primary is here at the edge. Um, so what I've done here, just for economy's sake, is I've done one half. I've done an edge and the middle. And it looks like I've got a ground on each side with a vertical plate, vertically oriented plate. And I also have a vertically oriented plate only. This one is in the line. It's a middle plate. Not a floating plate, but a third plate in the center of the capacitor that's in the center of the LMD loop. There's one on top and bottom. The bottom one is missing because I've got the earth here. But the top one is here. Um, and I also have the, uh, the earth used over here at the edge, the le at this left edge of uh, an LMD loop. We also have a plate up here extended. Um, two diodes pointing in and the primary of Barbos and Leal's uh, circuit is here at the center post of a triple post, um, well, a double toroid, basically. I don't know what else. I, it's an E plus a top piece. And it makes it easier for winding the center post. It's just a cylindrical winding on a sleeve and then inserted over here. And I don't know yet what kind of sleeve I'm going to use. Um, but that's the primary. And the reason of the two diodes is that the radiant energy has to be separated from normal electricity. First of all, radiant energy travels opposite to the flow of electrons, so whatever direction the diode is pointing, although that's taken to mean the traditional terminology of a current, as opposed to what they found out later on, it's the opposite of actual current flow, the actual flow of amperage, but it's actually the flow of radiant the radiant component, the cold electricity. Well, that has to be separated by sending it into an electric field um, so that it can then be harvested within or made serviceable within the electromagnetic field of this primary winding here. So it's a harvest and service or process, harvest and process to make it serviceable elsewhere in the circuit. Um, Let's see, so that's the purpose of the diodes, the primary. Um, the collector plate, since the bottom end here is equivalent to the bottom wire here, that's the substitution. And the plates have to be vertical because there are two types of currents predominating the Earth, those that travel sideways and those that travel up and down. And we're trying to catch the ones that are going sideways. Um, now, I didn't draw here what... I should do. I should do another redraw, and that is to take out this loop here and instead put two and a half turns here and two and a half turns here because that's what's missing and that's what I got wrong on my drawing. Um, the other thing is that this load doesn't have to be here along with this grounding plate necessarily, I don't think. Um, it's quite possible that the circuit would benefit from maintaining the top portion and making the bottom optional. The capture loop, the load, and this ground. And the only thing to actually retain consistently for each LMD loop is this single connection, a resistor, a neon bulb, connected to a center plate in the middle of a capacitor. It's strung along the top here connecting the top portion of the LMD cha daisy chain, analog computer in LMD mode. I'm not so sure about this, whether it's needed in parallel. I thought going to this arrangement would be better, probably. But, you know, that's me. I don't know. I'm just speculating. What do I know? So this is one half, the left half the left half of uh, LMD, including this, tor this uh, 
<laughs> transformer core and the loop and the top and bottom of each so it's just like one half you know just one half um, so I've scaled down the drawing to make it simpler um, and of course these these daisy chains can loop around and loop to themselves rather than be in series simply a linear arrangement or they could be a linear arrangement either way I don't know again I'm not sure and then there's the added uh, problem what's funding this where's the source uh, I just assume no source and in terms of testing and development I don't need one I just poise myself on this plate up here turn this plate into an earthing bed sheet laced with silver wire so that I can get a feel of what's going on down here later on I may have to remove myself from the circuit and then add in a power source um, and if so where would I put it I do not know um, I do not know if it's needed and if so what type and where do you plug it in not really clear on that but right now I'm trying to work on development of the overall structure and that means I have to use my body in the circuit to feel my way through this what feels bionically right psionically correct using my uh, body sensitivity to uh, get myself through this initial stage of developing the, the overall circuit design but actually powering appliances I'm not so sure I'd want myself in the circuit I don't think I'd want to take that risk and it would it's probably uh, dangerous anyway let alone risky um, but at least at this point you know I could have two different circuits one for appliances and one for me so I don't mind going through this first stage of development if it sounds peculiar to attach myself to the circuit it's because this is how I go about development I take full responsibility for what I'm engineering in my environment I want it to be of the utmost care and consideration and that means I've got to include myself as much as I can during its development um, what else can I cover I think that's it yeah, I'm not still clear what kind of circuit this would best be, a DC or AC version. Obviously, these diodes make it look like a DC version because this is the primary here. It would be over here, too. Um, so it looks like it'll be a DC circuit, not an AC circuit. Um, but that's not to say the whole power circuit of Barbosa and Lille can't be DC and then put AC inverter as, as the output. In contradistinction to see if I can find it here the, uh, the replication of Clarence in which he has the AC inverter in the beginning to power the primaries before the rest you know of the circuit is powered and so I'm taking the position that I'm going to take out um, the AC inverter at this point and instead move it to here and let this be the DC portion because I want the environment to be subjected to DC only at this in this in this area here which is going to make it more difficult yeah, AC is always easier to deal with than DC um, but in terms of ergonomics um, obviously I couldn't test a circuit with myself included if I had AC it's just AC is disruptive it's it's no good for the body um, and I'm not sure a neon bulb is good for the body a disruptive discharge that's why I take my body to be the equivalent substitute of a neon bulb in terms of testing and development but in terms of running an appliance a body may not be adequate unless we redesign our appliances to run off a lower amperage for at the very least as well as a lower voltage so in order to justify Ha keeping myself in the circuit at all times means we would have to redesign our appliances to accommodate a power source that's the same as our body basically I mean we, we, we never designed our loads with that in mind it's not to say we can't hey everything is shrinking I mean our computers as it is they step down the AC to DC voltage and uh, semiconductor chips don't need a whole lot of energy we know that we have semiconductors in our wristwatch so we and our cell phones so we, it's obvious that in fact there are some devices on YouTube somebody came up with 
to recharge your uh, cell phone battery using a potato, you know, potato power. So obviously we can change our appliances to make them more efficient. It's going to take some time on some of them. The, the energy hogs, you know, like an electric car is a huge energy hog. Um, but on other things like cell phones, we're already there. So it, it's not really necessary to have AC when we're, when we're having low power devices to power, uh, low wattage devices to power. Um, and that's the direction I wish to go here with that intent in mind, knowing that it's not going to take care of our AC appliances unless I exclude myself and, and use something to boost whatever is going on here at low grade. Using the earth alone to power the entire circuit. So it might be fine and good to power my body for the purposes of good health while sleeping at night. But for the purposes of, of powering many of our appliances, it might not be suitable at all to use this alone without some extra boost um, of input power to power this thing in addition to the earth as well. Um, but I could still keep it DC. That's my at least um, minimum intention, is to keep the circuit power DC exclusively and then only put in the AC inverter at the very end immediately prior to the load, right in here. Rather than having it in the beginning to power this load and then the DC comes off and you charge your battery and then you convert it to AC. So, um, actually, yeah, he's using AC here to power his battery charger. Um, so then we wouldn't even need a battery charger here because the DC, I mean, just maybe a few pieces of circuitry to modify the DC current before it enters the battery directly. Um, by having an AC power here and then, to, you know, in between, right in here, right in here, in between the load on the right and the power being taken off to power the smart battery charger. Um, because then this could be removed or um, substitute a DC battery charger powered uh, something that can be powered with a DC power to directly charge the battery. I don't know what's more efficient to tell you the truth. I mean AC usually like I said before is usually more efficient than DC um, because it's easier to manipulate. But be that as it may, you know these are all my speculations. Just take it for what it's worth or not. <laughs>